welcome to every movie I've ever seen. This is a special May the 4th edition where throughout the month of May I'm going to be re reviewing the fourth film in franchises that I've not seen. Uh, so today the movie I'm only, that I'm going to be talking about is Paranormal Activity 4. Uh, again, just to clarify, I've not seen the first f three Paranormal Activities, nor have I seen uh, the most recent two. Uh, but I did see Paranormal Activity 4. The uh, movie was fine, I suppose. Uh, not a whole lot. Ha not a whole lot happened in the movie. <coughs> it's just kind of like an hour and twenty minutes of not much happening, and then ten minutes of interesting stuff, which I hear might be a common complaint amongst the Paranormal Activity movies. I know this is the. F I, I I know some things about Paranormal Activity, despite having not seen any of these movies, except the fourth one. Uh, I believe the second one takes place before the first one, and then the third one takes place before both of those. The third one, the third one takes place in like the 80s or something. And so this one is uh, continuing things finally. This, this, this seems more like a direct sequel to uh, Paranormal 1 and 2. Cause I think Paranormal 2, like, it starts before 1, and then kind of over time, as the movie progresses, it jumps past uh, it jumps past the events of 1. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's... It was fine. I mean, it didn't matter that I hadn't seen the previous ones, because I feel like the only important information was retold to me in the beginning, which is the fact that this lady killed her boyfriend and stole her ne nephew, and then that's that's it. That's that's like the only piece of information I needed to know because you know the crazy lady she's in this one, and so is her nephew, although he's adopted now. We we don't know how he how he. Uh, how he got adopted, how Crazy Lady lost him, and how she was able to adopt a kid of her own, which is also weird, because she has an adopted son, and you would think, like, oh, her adopted son, that's actually her her nephew, that she's pretending to be her real son. No, that's, I suppose that's actually her adopted son, and, I don't know, at some point she lost her nephew, and... I, I, I don't know. I guess there's like a demon in this Toby and he wants to possess the kid Hunter or he's, he's already possessing the crazy lady and there's like a cult just like this mob of old ladies who just come out of nowhere I don't know. It doesn't... It didn't make a whole lot of sense. Because, like I said, I think the very nature of the movie doesn't allow it to make sense. You know, you probably have to watch all these movies to get some type of grasp on what's actually happening. Because, like I said, pretty much nothing happens for 90% of the movie. It's just, you know, people people being recorded, because this is found footage, which, you know, we've done that to death. Uh, it's just people being recorded and talk, talking into a camera, and then something mildly spooky happens in the background, like, oh, that door shut slightly. Oh, look, that... that that cabinet slams shut. Wow! Ooh, this knife is this knife is flying in in the air. Well, we'll pay that off thirty minutes later, which felt random. 
you know, she's cutting with, the mother's cutting with a knife and the knife flies in the air and I guess just, I guess it just chills on the ceiling for like half the movie till it finally falls down and doesn't do anything and they don't, they don't really acknowledge it. Uh, I was kind of disappointed we don't get to see their reactions to weird things happening. Because they think weird things are happening, so they start filming everything to see those weird things happening. And they see, like, one weird thing happen, which is, you know, s just slightly weird, not that weird. You could explain it away. But then weird things really do start happening, and we don't see them react to it because these weird things start happening at an exponential rate where they don't have time to review the footage and react to these things, so. That was a long, long sentence. This didn't make me want to see any of the other Paranormal Activity movies. Is, was this even a good one? I've heard some people say this was one of the good ones. This and the next one, which I believe is like the marked ones, which is like a it's like a spin-off or something. Uh, maybe it takes place in Mexico. I I, I don't I don't know. Uh, I heard this one and that one were the best. Maybe that was just one opinion that I heard. I mean. I'm sure a lot of people out there think the first Paranormal Activity is the best one because that was the first and that did it before it, before all these other ones and, you know, reinvented the wheel, so, so to speak, but, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you, if you liked this one. Was it good? Uh, I don't know. I think this might have been one of, like, the I don't know. I don't got anything. I guess that's all I've got to say about Paranormal Activity 4.